Rational function application problem from textbook. Question 1. Polluted water flows into a pond. The concentration of pollutant C in the, water, in the pond at any time t minutes is modeled by the equation Ct equals to 9 minus 90,000 within brackets 1 over 10,000 plus 3t where C is in kilograms per meter cube. When will the concentration of pollutants reach 6 kilograms per meter cube in the pond? What will happen to the concentration of pollutants over time? Well, for part 1, when will the concentration of pollutants reach 6 kg per meter cube? That means Ct is 6, right? So we can just plug in 6 and find T, right? That is the part 1. So let's do that part. So 6 equals to 9 minus... 90,000 and within bracket we have 1 over 10,000 plus 3t. Okay. So to find this we'll do 6 minus 9 divided by 90,000 right and then we'll do cross multiply later. So we'll do 6 minus 9 divide by minus 90,000, let me write minus 90,000 equals to 1 over 10,000 plus 3t. Okay, so we can use calculator to figure this out. So we have 90,000 divided by 90,000. We can actually divide later also. This, that gives a very small number. So anyway, so we have, we'll keep it as fractions. That'll be better for us. So we'll keep it as fractions. So we have 3 over, we'll simplify this, right? So it is 3 over 90,000. So which is 1 over 30,000. Let's keep it as fraction. It is better. Equals to 1 over 10,000 plus 3t. Now let's cross multiply it. So we have 10,000 plus 3t equals to 30,000, right? So from here we have 3t equals to 30,000 minus 10,000, which is 20,000. And from here we can calculate T is equals to 20,000 divided by 3. Four sixes, point six is 0.6 degree. So that is the time which we get in minutes. So, so many minutes we can write for the time being. Okay. So that's the answer in minutes after this much of time, the concentration will be 6. Now the second part is, what will happen to concentration of pollutants over time? So from the given equation, what we see is, if t is large, so the equation for us is c of t equals to 9 minus 90,000, 1 over 10,000 plus 3t, right? So as t approaches a large value, for example, if t approaches infinity, right? In that case, 1 over a large value we are going to get, right? So this, this part of the fraction, this part of the equation will approach 0. Is that okay? Because 1 divided by a large value will approach 0, right? And since that part which we are taking out approaches 0, we have Ct approaching the value 9 because it is going to approach 9. Is that okay? So that is what we are going to see uh, when t is very large. End behavior is kind of like this. So you can graph it like this, saying that, well, at t equals to 0, we have 
So C of, so we can always find what C0 is, right? C0 is, if I put T as 0, so I got 90,000 divided by 10,000, which is 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0, right? So it actually starts with 0 pollution, right? And then it increases, and it increases to a level of 9 at the most, right? So we say, well, at the most, it will reach the level of 9, correct? Where the graph will be kind of like this. Is it okay? Uh, so this value is 9 for us, where this is C of T, and this is time. So, so that is going to happen over a period of time. So that is how you can show. So have a good look at the solution. So we have at time 6666 divided by so many. We can divide by 24 and write the answer in hours, right? 277 hours, 277.8 hours. It will reach this, okay?